Hey yo YouTube, what up? Defy Kills here. Uh back with another Photoshop tutorial and finally back with a tutorial. Uh I've sorry I've been really busy and uh I have an explanation for that. Um obviously you can see this little icon here, Defy Kills. Yes, I am finally in Defy Clan, which is freaking amazing. Um so I'm in here and it's amazing being a graphic designer for them and just talking to nerve and all of them is uh you know it's really cool but i am back with the tutorial now it is a cinema 4d tutorial so uh hopefully you guys will enjoy this one it is making text but it's making a shine text okay so first what you want to do is you want to go to your mo graph and just go into your text just get your text object and i'm going to do this type of shine like so put it in the middle and that's a good font to use Arial just for this tutorial what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it to a hundred actually no not that much I'm gonna put it to about uh, 75 and that should be good okay so now, now you have your text what you wanna do is you wanna go into um, your caps go to fillet cap or fillet cap however you wanna say it put the steps on 4 radius on 3 again for the next one 4 and 3 and what that does is it gives it rounded rounded uh rounded edges so you can see that right there next what you're going to want to do is obviously add your uh add your colors and stuff i'm going to use type of bluish color just like so and what you this is what you want to do for reflection click on reflection put brightness down to 30 percent put the texture on Fresnel okay so that's the texture and then it looks kind of weird so we're going to mix strength type in 20 percent and you can see that makes it look really good go to specular Put the width down a little bit to about 24, 25, and put the height up a little bit more to about 30. You can see that just makes it look pretty good. Okay, so now you're done with the first uh, material. Next, you go into the next material and just put on luminance. Okay, and then you're done with that material. If you want to add any other materi materials, uh, if you have a separate text that goes in the middle here just to make it look cool, you can do that. Uh, but try to focus on the same type of texture and the same style of doing so. F so for the steps, I'm going to put it down a little bit. Three, two, three, two. So it's not as obvious to round it. Okay, so now you can see I have this. We're going to click and drag the texture. You can see, hold up. You can see that you're already starting to get a little shine on it because of the rounded edges and the material. But that's not enough for us yet. Next, we're going to have to go to our shapes and click plane. Now, what you're going to want to do is spread this out a little bit. Just have it just like that. And you're gonna hold on, let me back up a little bit from here so you can see what I'm doing. What you do is you're gonna click this and drag it up to about here. Just get it in the middle there. Alright. And then you have that. To the plane you're gonna add your luminance. Okay. So now now that we have this, I'm gonna show you. It looks like this. You're starting to get little glares on it, but it's not turning out so well. So, what you want to do is you click a light, you click it a little bit, you put it a little bit in front, about right where that blue point is touching the text, then drag it up until you can see that that looks pretty cool, where you can see the front lit up and the top lit up. But then you We'll go into here. You can see that when you look at it, it doesn't look too good. So what we're gonna do 
is we're going to go to light and we're going to put in our shadow to shadow map soft and you can see how this is oh sorry you can see how this is kind of coming along now and the way I'm getting into this full screen is I'm going to that and then cl clicking control R to uh, render it and so it's starting to look all right okay you can see the little glares and, and the shine and just all that stuff but it's not turning out too amazing you can see that when I zoom in here you can see how this is I don't know the quality on YouTube and how this is gonna turn out if you can say too much but you can see these edges right here of the shine are kind of ruffled and uh, a little beat up a little bit and you can see that they're not straight like you'd want it to be in a shine so what you're gonna do is you are gonna go to where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to your render settings right here. Okay, so you have your regular render settings all set up. What you're gonna want to do is to add an awesome effect. Go to color correction, color correct it a little bit, put up the contrast to about 15. Then next, go to global illumination. Now follow me here. The GI mode needs to go to IR plus QMC still image and iridians cache I don't know how to really say that you're gonna put the stochastic samples to low and the record density to low also and then you're pretty much done with the global illumination now you can see we're going to zoom in here and just get the text right there and go to full screen and you can see when we render it out it starts going like that and it looks so much better you can see the, and the color correction makes it look really good so you can see the global illumination adds its own shadows it looks so much more realistic now you can see it is very it's turning out very amazing isn't it from that, f it, from now, from the first time we saw the text until now, it's definitely changed a lot. But you still, if you look, we still have those ruffled, uh, those ruffled, uh, reflection parts of it. You can see they're still ruffled a little bit. Well, a lot of it. And so we're going to change that. What you're going to do is come back from full screen go to your render settings also again go to anti aliasing and the anti aliasing should be on geometry you go here and click on best and the filter should stay on still image put the threshold on to five percent and the min level the higher you are the better you are so and it just makes your render time a little bit longer but it's definitely worth it so two by two four by four um, really good so now if you can see it we're gonna render it out again and it's gonna be different you can see it's gonna be uh, just I don't know I don't know how to explain it. it's just gonna be a lot better than what it was <coughs> just wait for this to render out I told you uh, it's uh, rendering takes a little bit more render time but you can already see the reflection is turning out a lot smoother but uh, it's it's really good this tutorial is really gonna help you guys well I hope it does and if it does help you guys please give it a like it really helps me out especially being in the fi now and this is my first tutorial in a while so I promise to be posting a ton more and uh so yeah well, this is, well you can pretty much see it that's pretty much the reflection but that's the reflection you can see and it's good so basically that's pretty much it um, if you would like to move around the text what you do is you click on mo text and make it an object Put plus 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 and just to move around the shape 
groups or the different letters, the separate letters go like this. Just move them around however you'd like. I will be rendering this for you guys just to show you guys what it looks like in a second. Just after I move these around real quick. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to render it for you guys just so you guys can see it. And I'm going to pull it up on the full screen. And yeah. <coughs> but again, the render time does take a little bit more with the anti-aliasing, but it's definitely worth the wait. Uh, it is very, very good when it comes out. Yeah. So if you like this, please subscribe to me if you haven't already like the video comment the video saying if it helped you or not comment any questions you have and uh... you know just all that good stuff uh... in the description will be my twitter page and my facebook page please go follow those pages they will give you so much so many recent updates that i'm having on just different video speed arts tutorials on different stuff about the fine just all that good stuff okay, i'm gonna pull it up for you guys here it is, the shine text. You can see how amazing that looks. That looks truly amazing. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial again. If you liked it and if it was useful to you, please give it a like. Um, since I'm now on Defy, please give me a sub for awesome graphics and just all that good stuff. And quickly before we go, I just want to show you guys something real quick. Elite Cinema, if you guys know Elite Cinema, they actually contacted me on Skype. I don't know who that is that messaged me, but they uh they contacted me and they uh asked me if I could make them a background. So after a few days of making it pretty good and all that stuff and being busy with the fine and all that stuff. I finally got done making it, and I hope they start using it soon. They're in my sub box, so keep checking back with them if they're using it or not. Here's the background. It is a very sick background, in my opinion. Um, it's uh, it's pretty dang sick. So uh, if you guys like the background I made for them, please give me a uh, a like on this video as well. But yeah, that is the Shine Text tutorial. This has been Kills. I am out. Peace.